Hey loves, so today we're going to talk about the new ColourPop Spring line. I did just get my haul in the mail finally. I totally delayed and like, I don't know, told myself I didn't need anything as always and I actually somewhat behaved for myself anyway this time and I also picked up Fetch Please but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So if you want to see this video as soon as it's up I will link it down below. So it, especially with that out of this box it looks so puny and like tiny. It looks like a freaking baby haul. So hopefully you guys are still interested in seeing this. I didn't pick up every single piece like I normally do. I have, as I'm sure you guys can guess, so much color pop. It's ridiculous. I literally, I have almost every single permanent shadow and then I have gone crazy with every single <sighs> limited edition release. So I purchased so many of those. I have more eyeshadows and a lot of the blushes and stuff that I don't I'm never going to go through them before they dry up, even though I have had one dry up and I put Fix Plus in it and it totally fixed it. So if you ever have one dry up, try that. Totally works. Totally works. So I'm going to go through and show you the ones that I did get. I only picked up, I'm wearing some of them too, by the way. Uh, on my lips, I have Tootsie and I picked up the Tootsie Lippy Stick and Lippy Pencil and then Westie Lippy Stick. I actually ended up ordering a couple more items from the spring collection but they're not going to be here for a few days so I don't want to wait any longer so I'm going to show you these I'm sure I'll end up collecting them slowly 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 until I have them all because I'm crazy I need to behave I love this lip color this is Tootsie like I said so there is Tootsie my hands are totally stained I had a pen explode all over me so if you see the blue in my hands please don't just ignore it and then there is the lippy pencil and then Westie, I haven't even swatched this yet. Oh, it's really, really cute. Look at that. It's kind of dusty pink. So those are the only lippy sticks that I picked up from this collection so far that I have. I can't remember what I even ordered. I think I ended up ordering the lippy pencil with Westy and something else. The lilac one. I ordered that too. And then I only picked up one blush because I felt like I got a nice range of blushes the first time I ordered all from their permanent line. Plus I just ordered the In Bloom collection that comes with three more blushes. So I just picked up the one that I felt was a little bit different. I don't know what I, I think I got eyelash glue all over this just when I was just filming. I'm wearing this today with a little bit of thumper on top. I went a little overboard because I felt like it wasn't really showing up and then it, all of a sudden it was all over my face. So I have this on today. This is Rain. And I have a little bit of thumper on top of it just to kind of make it a little more pink and a little more wearable. I can, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see this up close and then also get into the swatches of the eyeshadows. So these are the lip colors, by the way. There's Tootsie and Westie. And then back into this, this is Rain. It's a really beautiful purple. I do have to say that this one I had a little more difficulty applying on top of powder. It got a little spotty compared to some of the other ones and I haven't had any issues at all applying them on top of powder. I would definitely recommend applying this one straight on top of your foundation, on top of your liquid foundation before you set with powder. But it's a really fun color and it actually, it's not as crazy on the cheeks as you would think. Okay, so this is Cowboy and this is the really light purple shade. It's a lot lighter than I even expected it to be. It's really pretty though. It's just a super pale lilac shade. And this one is a matte. Super pale. Let's see, the next one is Daddy. And this is the slightly darker purple, which this one turned out to be more of a true lavender lilac kind of shade. It's much more, I feel like it lightens up when you put it on the eye, but you can pack it on to get a nice opaque finish. This is also another matte. I believe there's only one non-matte shade in this entire collection. That sounds super pigmented. Really beautiful. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites. This is Flux. I am all about that mint and this is like a true mint. This is more of a true mint than I think Chipper is. This one is a matte. Again, this one is lighter than you even expect it to be, but they are true pastels. They did really awesome. 
executing that. I think if you aren't quite as pale as I am, they aren't gonna look quite so white on you, but still beautiful, it can be built up and you can still definitely see that it is a minty green. Hopefully you can see that. Super pale minty shade. It's pale and pastel, but pigmented, if that makes sense. This one is Snapdragon. I have not even swatched this one yet. God, my nails are horrible. Please ignore them. Please ignore them. Huh. This one is the more seafoam green. Another one of those super duper pigmented ones. I'm gonna start swatching them over here. That is beautiful and super pigmented. One little swipe. I think it's gonna be fun to mix the really pale ones with these darker ones because it's gonna give you that perfect pop of color. Picked up the yellow, which is Hello. It's a cute name. I haven't even swatched this guy yet either. Super cute. I'm excited to try like a little pop of yellow on the inner corner or lower lash line. Again, matte shade. This is Beauty Call. Nice pale powdery blue. I picked up In a Pickle. <laughs> it's a cute name. Nice coral shade in a pickle. This is Bites. This is the matte white. It's gonna be really hard to see on camera. Oh, super white. Let me see. These matte shades are so like, just like, I don't know if you can see, but they just like move around super soft and powdery at the same time. White right there. It's a pretty pigmented white if you can see it on my skin. You know what I'm saying? This is the last one that I picked up. This is Acorn. And this is the only pearlized one in the bunch. I'm excited to swatch this one. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. <sighs> even can you even see how amazing that is right there? My middle finger. I don't even know if that's gonna do it justice. That is like the most beautiful highlight shade. I'm gonna use that as a highlight on my face, girl. Look at that. It just, it's like a pinky pearly champagne and you know how I'm, I'm all about that life. All about that life. Oh, it's gorgeous. I hope those swatches worked out on trying to balance that so I can actually stabilize my hand. Again, so sorry that my hands look so disgusting. I literally had a pen explode over everything at work. So it's all over me and I've stained my nails and I didn't even bother to repaint them yet because again, of course it's always like 11 PM or midnight when I start filming. So here are the shades. Hopefully you can see a little better from further away, not so right in the light. How gorgeous that shade is. Look at that acorn. Oh my God. So we have Snapdragon Beauty Call in a pickle bites. Cowboy, Daddy, Flux, and Hello. So those are the ones that I picked up. I do have more coming in the mail. I think I ordered two more. So I have almost all of them because, you know, they're really beautiful. I mean, you know how I feel about ColourPop shadows. And I'm all about pastels. <laughs> I'd like to think that this is going to like round out my collection and that I'm good and I don't need to buy anything else. But you know that's not true. Can't resist it. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. Did you guys pick up anything from the ColourPop Spring 2015 collection? Do let me know down below what you think. And I did film this look. I am wearing a few of the shadows on my eyes today, the blush and one of the lippies. So 
that'll be up very soon if it's not up already so when it is up though i'm probably gonna put this one up before that one so when it is up it'll be like down below and then i'm gonna get into my fetch please review and swatch fest so that'll also be linked down below when it's up as well so again let me know your thoughts let me know what you want to see next all that jazz and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching